Hello there, I'm Thomas. The island of Sodor is a very special place and a very busy one too. What adventures will we get up to today? Let's find out, shall we? Today's story is all about Toad the Brake Van and is called Toad at the Front. Toad the Brake Van is very proud to be part of the Little Western Branch Line. He works hard with his best friend Oliver, looking after his trains and making sure the trucks are kept in order whilst travelling. Sometimes Toad will happily travel on the back of Donald or Douglas' trains. Even Duck is happy to let Toad travel along with him on rare occasions. Although there are times when Toad will want to have some excitement of his own. One day, Toad was resting in the side and after travelling with Oliver with a train of goods vans. Oliver was filling up on water at the water tower. He was glad to have a rest. Toad was watching the engines pass him by with their trains. He was intrigued by the number of trucks they were pulling. Doing a great job there, Mr. Devil. Thank you, Toad. Uh, where are your trucks, Mr. City? Huh? Trucks? Aren't I pulling them? Ugh. Oh, not again, Sydney. Now we'll have to go back for them. You said you were couple up to them. Did I? I must have forgotten. Hmm. Honestly, ugh. Gangs will have noticed, Toad. No problem, sir. Hello, Todd. Hello, Miss Deer. Oh, look out, Miss Deer. One of the straps on your flatbed has come loose. Oh, no. What's the matter? The strap has broken free. We need to fix that before we go any further. Oh no, we'll be late. Can't be helped, Nia. It's dangerous to travel with a load that isn't secured properly. You know that. Oh, hello there, Miss Rebecca. Hello, Toad. Having a nice rest? Yes, Miss Rebecca, and having a watch of the trains that are passing by. Oh, what's Nia doing stuck there? All done. The strap is reattached. Well spotted, Toad. We could have been in serious trouble if anything could happen to that load. Happy to help, sir. Off we go, Nia. Thank you, Toad. You really are quite a brake van, Toad. Oliver is very lucky to have a friend like you. Thank you very much. I always like the trains to be safe whilst they are travelling along. Hmm. Maybe, Toad, you should try it and lead a train of your own. I think you would be great at it. Oh no, I couldn't do that. We brake vans are always at the back of the train. Mr. Oliver always pulls from the front, don't you, Mr. Oliver? Indeed I do, Toad. Come on, we've got another load to collect. Yes, sir. Goodbye, Miss Rebecca. Nice seeing you again. Bye, Toad. See you later. Oliver was making his next delivery of tar wagons. He was taking them to Lower Sudbury Station. The men needed the tar to mend the roads leading up to the car park. As they were trundling the lock, Toad was deep in thought. He was thinking about what Rebecca had said to him. Me, leading a train. Hmm. You all right back there, Toad? Oh, yes, Mr. Oliver. I'm all right. Just thinking, that's all. Oh? What about? Well, how would you feel about me leading one of your trains one day? You lead my train? Yes, I think it would make a nice change. I've never led a train of any sort before. Toad, you're a brake van. Brake vans cannot lead trains. Your job is to help from the back and make sure nothing goes wrong. 
I know, Mr. Oliver, I know. But it would be nice to have a change, even if it's only for a short while. Leading a train is not easy, Toad. There's a great deal of responsibilities you have to be faced with, and you're just not ready for those. Oh, I'm sorry, but that's how it is. This made Toad feel very sad. He thought Oliver would have been supportive of the idea. But hearing his words made him feel less confident. For the rest of the trip, Toad saw other engines pulling their trains and how much they were enjoying themselves. Hello, Toad! Hello, Miss Molly. Oh dear! Hello, Oliver! You might want to talk to Toad. He's looking very sad. Oh, he's just upset because I told him he cannot lead a train and that it's responsibility to look after the trucks from the back. Maybe so, but I think you need to talk to him. It's the only way to help him. But Molly, I... Oh, all right then. That evening, Oliver was in the shed with Duck, Donald and Douglas. Toad was standing outside the shed, feeling sad. The twins were the first to notice Toad's sad expression. You are right there, Toad? Hey, you look down in the dumps. Well, it's because... Oh, never mind. You're just speaking silly. What? what? Yes, Toad. What's up? I would like to have a go at leading a train, but Mr. Oliver says it's not possible. I didn't say that, Toad. What I was trying to say is that you don't understand the responsibilities of leading a train from the front. Pulling the heavy load, reading signals and keeping a good leg out on the line. Oliver is right. Brake vans can't do the same job as steam engines can. You're just not right for leading trains, Toad. But I can keep a good look out and read signals. Sure, it may involve going forwards, but I don't see that as a problem. Do you remember the last time you went forward, Toad? I remember it wasn't a pleasant experience. Uh... My coupling broke on Gordon's Hill and you ended up crashing into a muddy pool. Oh yes, I remember that. You were very lucky no other engine was hurt. That wasn't my fault. It was an accident. Maybe so, Toad. But Doc and Oliver are right. You cannot lead a train. You're not strong enough. I best leave the leading of the trains to us engines. We know what we're doing, and we understand the responsibilities of looking after the train from the front. This made Toad feel worse than ever. He really wanted to lead a train like his friends did, but he wasn't sure how. The next morning, all the engines were getting ready for work. Donald and Douglas were leaving the sheds to collect their first train. Bye bye you two, have a good day. Thank you, Duck. And uh, try not to bicker today, please. Bicker? We didn't bicker, not at all. I've never bickered in my life. We hardly bicker, do we, Donald? Nay, Dougie, we argue, but not bicker. Come on, brother, we've got a train to collect. <laughs> <laughs> well, I better go, Oliver. My passengers are waiting for me. See you later. Bye, Duck. Morning, Toad. Morning, Mr. Oliver. Oh, Toad, are you still upset about last night? Yes, I am. I gotta believe you would say all that to me. I wasn't trying to be mean, Toad. I was just trying to explain how difficult it is to lead a train. But I can lead a train, Mr. Oliver, and like you, I can see where I'm going. Let's just leave it for now, Toad. Our first train is waiting. Yes, Mr. Oliver. <sighs> Oliver brought Toad to the yards where their first train was waiting. Trunks of fruit and vegetables were needed for the market. The men had just tied down the last tarpaulin onto the last truck. As Oliver was filling up the water at the water tower, Toad suddenly had an idea. Mr. Oliver, I've got an idea. What idea? Well, hear me out, please. If I lead this train to the market, then you can push from the back. Toad! But think about it. 
Like you, I have a brake that could slow us down if we ever go down a hill. Plus, with your strength, you could provide a great weight at the back if we ever run into trouble. Like a runaway, for example. Hmm. Well, I am a strong tank engine. And your brakes are strong, too. Oh, all right, Toad. Let's give your idea a try. Oh, thank you, Mr. Oliver. I promise you won't regret it. But if anything goes wrong, we switch round. Is that clear? Yes, we will. So Toad was shunted at the front of the train, and Oliver was coupled to the back. The guard explained to Oliver's crew about Toad's plan. They agreed to give it a try. If anything goes wrong, I'll blow my whistle. We'll keep a good listen out for you, Whistle. We'll be ready. The guard climbed the board, Toad, and blew his whistle. <whistles> then Oliver gave a push, and they started off to the market. The journey along the main line made Toad feel very happy. The view of the tracks and the scenery was better than Toad had imagined. The track ahead is clear and straight, Mr. Oliver. You can go a little faster. Alright, Toad, if you say so. Don't get ahead of yourself, Toad. It's a long way and the trucks are very heavy. We'll be fine, sir. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, don't say that. They puffed through Edward's station and made their way towards Gordon's Hill. Everyone was surprised to see Tony with the train and Oliver pushing from the back. I say, is that Toad? At the front? We're approaching the hill, Joe. I will have to push hard and fast to get to the top. No problem, Mr. Oliver. I'll let you know when we get to the top. They started up Gordon's Hill and Oliver was pushing as hard as he could. His steam shot high into the air and his face went red. You're doing well. We're halfway there. Then we can have a nice run down the other side. A nice run, eh? We'll give you a nice run. <laughs> it will be better than you think. <laughs> but Toad didn't hear this. He was keeping his eye on the top of the hill. Bust my buffers! I didn't know brake vans to keep trains. We made it, Oliver. Well done! Then there was trouble. The trucks bumped Toad so hard, the guard lost his balance and landed on his arm. Toad could see they were now going down the hill much too fast. Toad, slow down! I can't, Mr. Oliver. My guard is into himself. I can't have to make my break. Faster! Faster! <laughs> Oliver's driver fought for control as he tried to put the brakes on. Oliver felt scared, but Toad was more frightened. Please, Mr. Gad, put my brake! Please! I can't! My arm hurts! Get me! leading the train. That's fantastic. Well done, Toad. <laughs> stop! Please stop! Oliver's driver blew the whistle as loud as he could. Luckily, the signalman had heard the sound and switched the points into the runaway side. The runaway train suddenly came into view. Raise yourselves! Here it comes! The train ran onto the runaway side and Toad saw the buffers. He shut his eyes tightly. Toad crashed through the buffers and landed in a muddy pot. The first three trucks fell off the tracks and squashed fruit went everywhere. Oh no! Are you alright, Toad? <laughs> Yuck! 
I think so. What a mess. Oh, oh, oh my eye. The Sidlerman telephoned for help. When the Fat Controller heard the news, he sent Harvey with the breakdown train. Judy and Jerome were soon busy in cleaning up the mess. Oliver removed the unheard trucks and the workmen cleared away what squashed food they could. Howard had come by as well to take Toad's car to the hospital. When the trucks were cleared, Oliver came back for Toad. A cable was fastened to Toad's coupling hook. And then, gently and carefully, Oliver pulled his friend back onto the tracks. Toad wasn't hurt, but his buffers were bent and he was very dirty. As Toad was lifted onto a flatbed, a fat controller came to see him. Toad the brake van! What were you playing at today? Why were you at the front of a train instead of the back? I'm really sorry, sir. I thought it would be a good idea for me to lead a train for once. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Where would you get an idea like that from? Miss Rebecca suggested it to me, sir. She told me I would be good at it. Whoops! Oh! Rebecca, I'm surprised at you! Sorry, sir. I didn't mean for this to happen. Now listen to me very carefully, you two. Brake vans have to be at the back of the trains. It's your responsibility, Toad, to make sure the train is safe from behind. You are not built to lead trains. And you are very lucky your guard wasn't too seriously hurt. He will be in Wellsworth Hospital for a while. And Rebecca, you should know better than to think up silly ideas like that. You can take Toad to the steamwork so that he can be mended. I hope you both learnt something today. Yes, yes sir. sir. We, we have, have sir. sir. A few weeks later, Toad was back at work and riding behind the trains once again. Oliver was glad to have his friend back, and Toad was pleased to be doing his job again. But the other engines couldn't help but tease him. Nice to have you back, Toad. In the right direction, of course. <laughs> I didn't know going forwards was your thing, Toad. Sure, you're going the right way, Toad. Why should Oliver push you off the line again? Oh. Hello, Toad. Hello, Miss Rebecca. I'm sorry I suggested a really silly idea to you. And I'm sorry I got you into trouble. It's alright. It was my fault for literally taking your idea seriously. Maybe it's best you leave the leading to me, Toad. After all, I can see where I'm going. And you can see what's going up behind us. You're right, Mr. Oliver. Should we deliver this load to Vickerstown? Good idea, Toad. Vickerstown? That's where I'm going too. Why don't we all go together? What do you think, Mr. Oliver? I think it's a wonderful idea. Hooray! Yay, me! Come on, Rebecca! And the three friends popped happily away together. Wow! What an adventure that was! Rebecca learned that not all ideas are good ideas. And Toad learned it's best not to take an idea too seriously. It's good to try out new ideas. But it's best to think them through first before you carry them out. I don't think Toad will be going forwards again, unless he's looking forward to the future. <laughs> I hope you had fun with us today. I'll see you again for another adventure. Goodbye, my friends. See you again soon. <laughs>